Hey, this is Dan with Six Monkeys. I'm here to show some of our uh, differences with our newest generation tire carrier. We'll give you a, a quick install video of the, the changes we made. Uh, this is the current version, just way better than our previous ones. We also have a handful of different accessories here. We're gonna do some short videos on each accessory and uh, that way you can get an idea of what setup is the best for you. So we've listened to our customers and we've come up with a, a few changes. Primarily they benefit you. Uh, we also made a few structural changes that benefit us. These are a very popular universal item. They just slip into your receiver of your vehicle. Uh, we have them on just a wide range of vehicles, uh, mostly smaller pickup trucks, vans, uh, mid-sized SUVs. Overall, it's a great product. If you're worried about fitment, contact us. Uh, we'll get a few measurements for you and, and build a custom one for you. We're going to go through and assemble one of these and really show you the differences that we made and why we made them. Do watch our other install video. It'll be a little bit more in depth other than these changes we made. We'll explain that. All right, so we have our lower in place here. I'm going to show you a few changes we made. The first thing is we inverted the hinge. Uh, so the spindle is now on the top side. Uh, your bearings are now on the bottom side. Uh, you'll still have a race and a seal pressed in the top. Um, this is the major difference. Uh, the reason why we did this is because your cap sits vertical on the top and you can get water, rainwater, that seeps down into it and then into the bearing cavity. Uh, make your bearings wear prematurely. Uh, we inverted it, put the cap on the bottom so that way you don't get water intrusion. Um, it was kind of a give and take situation. It was either we get water intrusion, which it rains pretty often, or you're going to bottom out and destroy your cap. Not a very often thing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and slip this in place, show you that procedure of putting that together, and then uh, show you a few other features that we've recently updated. So get your upper in place, be careful of the seal, line up the spindle with the seal, drop it down in. It will be a pretty tight fit. You're gonna take it all the way down, let it rest. From there, you can get your bearing, your washer, your cotter pin, your cap, and your castle nut. The first thing you're going to put on is your bearing. Slip that up in there. Big flat washer, put that on. And your castle nut. So again, the procedure is just the same. It's just inverted. Go ahead and tighten that castle nut up. You can get this thing really, really tight. And again, you're just gonna follow the procedure as the other video. You're gonna get it tight. Make sure it rotates smoothly. And uh, you're going to line up the, the castle nut with the cotter pin hole, put your cotter pin in, put your cap on. The best way to put your cap on when it's inverted like this is to get your cap, put it on, get a mallet, just tap it to get it started, and then put a wood block on it and hit the bottom with a real hammer. Uh, that'll drive that up in there, fits nice and snug, and then put your rubber cap in the end of your, your rubber plug in the end of your cap. Another thing we've updated is this locking ring. So right now it is locked at a closed position. When you open it, you're just gonna pull up on this pin, rotate around. You'll notice there's a hole at 90 degrees. Hold your carrier at 90 degrees. And there's another hole at 180 degrees. Keep your carrier at 180 degrees. This is a very, very handy feature. Uh, it prevents your tire carrier from swinging back into your vehicle or swinging around in the wind, or if you're not parked, you know, perfectly level, you don't have to worry about it swinging around, just let it lock. Uh, we've also added a, an opening up here, so you can run a cable through here and lock your rim to your tire carrier. Uh, 
Another thing guys use to lock the rim to the carrier is to pick up a half 13 high lift jack lock. It is a knob. You'll just put that knob on, has a key. You're able to lock it on. We also now have our logo integrated into our light bracket. So your tag is still gonna be bolted in the same spot. Uh, logo here, this is your tag bracket. Really simple install. Use one of these uh, push-in deals. Just slip it in there, put your rubber plug in, slip your tag light in, and then you're able to run your plug through here and around to where your trailer harness is. Really easy. And that's all of our major updates with the uh, tire carrier. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, comment in the comment section, we'll get to you. If you need a custom tire carrier, contact us. Um, we'll be happy to help you out.